So I've started working with this uh, capsule three laser. The uh, tripod or kickstand is coming in handy. Let's me lower down the screen. As you can see, I'm still waiting on my actual screen to show up. So we got my nice messy wall that used to be blocked by a relatively large TV. But uh, it's not exactly dark in here. And nice clear picture. I wouldn't say it's bright, but it's certainly bright enough. It's very easy to see. Uh, connection's been a little bit difficult to get set up. Uh, it's it wants to go through Google and that's not something I want to do so I've had to kind of work around that but otherwise so far so good well while we're waiting for the uh, extremely long update might as well take a peek at this case here it's apparently waterproof which I don't have a hard time believing even the zippers covered in rubber and everything it's specifically intended to hold your capsule and you got your remote for your capsule and then if you have an adapter like uh, if you're traveling overseas or whatever it goes there you get your charger holds your stand and a power cord all in a semi-rigid waterproof case Pretty sweet. One thing I should probably mention, I don't believe, yeah, there's no backlight on the uh, remote, so that kind of sucks. But you can control it entirely through your phone in the app. And it has all the controls on the top of the device itself. Now, obviously, if you're going to use the controls on the top of the device, every time you push a button, it's probably going to want to realign itself. But, you know, not a big deal. Get yourself a Bluetooth keyboard. You're going to want one anyway for typing in website names and stuff. Piece of cake. So, all in all, I mean, that's... We're looking at dark theme here the image is nice even on a wall I like it all right it was a long painful setup process to be honest but now connection is very easy uh, this has the Google Play Store loads up Hulu and everything absolutely no issue uh, obviously these aren't the best conditions at the moment where uh, <laughs> Watching one of my new videos where I was testing very cheap lenses and we're looking at a basically tan colored wall. Um, I assume you can hear the background music from the video. The volume's only at 30% right now. That is just coming from the capsule. And even though the image from the video isn't the best quality, image quality is great um, I definitely wouldn't say this device would be good for daytime watching it's not it's certainly not the brightest by any means but it is a very nice clear picture good saturation everything it automatically aligns itself with the wall and straightens itself out and focuses that's a beautiful feature if I move this right now well, maybe I gotta move it a bit more come on oh well, maybe it won't do it while I'm playing there there it goes come on <laughs> yeah it will automatically focus and realign itself it may be slowed at the moment because I'm actually casting the video footage to it rather than playing directly from it. But uh, here you go. Straightens itself right back out. Focuses itself. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet. I'd definitely say... Uh, 
I'm happy with the purchase. My my camera's having an issue focusing here. Oh, there you go. Another one of my videos. Um, the audio quality is fantastic. Um, there's not going to really be anything from this video. But... So while we're looking at the uh, Trinitite specimen, I figured I'd show the spectrogram I got from... That's at 30%. Just over three days... Now, obviously, I can connect this to Bluetooth speakers and get far better quality. Uh, the speaker I bought is still charging. That's a very large battery. It's going to take a while. But overall, hey, fantastic. I still have some testing and playing to do to really say for sure that I would recommend this thing, but... For Here. relatively painless setup and the automatic normal. keystoning and everything and running it off of Going a gray wall, it looks fantastic. Alright, well, I've moved the projector back up over there where I had originally intended to put it. I don't have things perfectly lined up quite yet, but I don't have my screen yet. Anyway, I figured I'd play some footage from uh, playing Baldur's Gate 3. Should do a pretty decent job showing the graphics and the color and everything else. And, as I'm sure you can tell, I now have the uh, speaker hooked up. It is paired directly to the projector. And, uh, yeah, it sounds amazing. Again, it's small speaker, but there's a number of them included in it, and they are definitely good, high-quality speakers. Um, pretty amazing for what it is. Um, I was watching Star Wars, one of the older movies. Wasn't the best experience but they didn't have high quality audio back then either so I believe I have it set at about 65% volume right now and as you can tell it's uh <laughs> it's pretty damn good Uh, if you're in the market for one of these projectors, they have a number of different buying options available on Amazon. Uh, personally, I'd recommend the bundle with the speaker. Um, the speaker on the capsule is pretty small. If you're sitting close to it, it's not bad. But if you want to watch a movie and enjoy the experience, you're going to need something better. And this speaker is pretty good. Uh, it's supposed to have a 12 hour runtime, waterproof. Uh, supposedly, it's got a built in DAC and can run high def audio. Um, not something I'm going to bother playing with. It's always seemed like it was just a money pit to me. But it sounds amazing, especially for a relatively small speaker. Let's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's uh, got all your controls on the top. Nice handle, amazing build quality. Uh, with this light on like this, you can actually see the speakers inside. Um, the top speaker changes color based on what sound profile you're using. You can program that to be whatever you want. Um, pretty cool certainly does sound pretty amazing uh, there's also the option if you were to buy two of these and I actually may buy another one you could set them up on each side of a room and run them in stereo so you have a true surround sound setup for a relatively low price portable rechargeable just like the uh, projector pretty awesome It's, uh, for projectors, something you're looking for. 
I gotta say, so far, this is the best experience I've had. It's not cheap, but compared to other projectors, it's not bad either. Um, you might be better off getting the larger version one that they have. I forget what it's called, but uh, it's got a bit longer battery life, and I believe it's like two or three times brighter. If you were trying to watch during the daytime in a lit area, you'd probably have a better bet with that. But it's, uh, well, it's portable. It's bigger than the speaker I just showed you, so not so portable. But, uh, yeah, I'm loving this. This is, uh, this is pretty good. Can't wait to show it when I actually get my screen up.